Did I get you? What's going on everybody? My name is Guggen, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the fire pit. Gotcha. What you're gonna need for this project is skulls that I got from the 99 sensor, waterproof light, insulating foam, tree branches, water-based polyurethane, spray paint, and cardboard. First, we're gonna make a circle out of the cardboard. I prefer the circle just because it'll make sense at that. Now we're cutting it out. Now that we're done cutting, it should look like in a perfectly perfect circle. You're gonna take your polyurethane, put it in a cup, you're gonna mix it, and then you're gonna apply it to your cardboard. Before applying this, just make sure you wear safety glasses and gloves. Safety glasses, because if this gets in your eyes, it's gonna burn like hell. My eyes! And if you get it on your skin, it'll irritate people with sensitive skin. Doing this will allow it to be a waterproof base so it could withstand the rain. After applying it, we're gonna put it in the sun and let it dry for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. You're gonna to wanna to clear coat this a couple more times just to really ensure that it's waterproof. And once you're done with that and it's all set and dry, we apply the lights. You wanna make sure they work before applying it because once you do that and they don't work, you gotta do it all over again. So, taking these lights, can I connect to this one? All right, they're working. Doing this, you wanna keep the outlet plug out and then just kind of design it the way you kind of like it. So, I like to go in like an S shape just so I hit every, every corner. So, once you have it, it should look something like this. Now for the fun part. What we're gonna take is insulating foam, shake it for about 30 seconds to a minute, and we're gonna apply it into the little crevices of the lights and cover a little bit of lights to give it that ash burning feeling. You're gonna wanna spray this and then put the skull and bones and the twigs on top of it so it just kinda holds it like a glue. Give me your hand, just kidding. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bones, kinda put it the way you feel is necessary. And you wanna rip this bone out of his jaw. There you go. To give it that like broken feel. Feet coming out. Go like this. Twigs, just to give it that really old school vintage feel. We're gonna wait for it to dry, give it about 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna spray paint it. Now that you've allowed it to dry, you're gonna take spray paint. I use black and silver just to give it that dark and ashy feeling. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use orange to give it a little highlight to the bulb. As you're spray painting, you wanna kinda go in between the lines so you don't make the orange bulbs black. Be sure to wear a mask while doing this so you don't wanna inhale this. And it should look something like this. And now we're gonna take the silver and add some depth. Now we're gonna take a little bit of orange spray paint and we're gonna give the bulb just a little bit of highlight. And it should look like this. What I'm gonna do is show you my fire pit and what you could add to it to give it more authenticity. Let's go. This is my fire pit. I added a cauldron on top. Just take some rocks, put it around the edges to cover up the cardboard, and take some dirt to put it in between. And it should look like this. Thank you for tuning in. Hope this video helped you to decorate your house for Halloween. If you have any questions, email me at thehauntedventures at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram at hauntedventures underscore. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Please like, share, and subscribe as I have more projects coming.